See you, Lozzy. See you, girls. Bye. Dr. Goldstein's the best oncologist surgeon there is. Maddie can't believe we've got the treatment sorted. Well, an expensive pay trip to America is pretty exciting, right? Yeah, she's very excited. So pleased we get to do this for Lozzie. I mean, she'll get her treatment. And we'll get a baby of our own. Yours and mine. Our own flesh and blood. I can't get rid of this feeling that we're asking too much of her. She's having our baby, that's weird, right? I mean, I don't think it's something I could do. Look, I've spoken to Madeline about this. She's gone on and on how there's so many abortions and did I know what they did with the fetuses? Do you? Yes. I don't understand, though, what that's got to do with it. Oh, apparently it's something about karmic debt, how you're one and I'm one and we're all one on some cosmic level. I mean, mad money, she's a bit of a hipster. Come on. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? Well, I didn't mean anything by that. I just mean that she's a bit of a hippie. Yeah? But you should spend as much time with her as you can. The more the baby hears your voice, they'll know who its daddy is. It's been proven. Well, in that case, you should be talking to the baby too, then. You're the actual mother. Right, but at the moment, it hears Maddie's voice. And when the baby's born, it'll only hear my voice. Hearing two voices at once will just be confusing. Yeah? yeah. But you... You've been nice to her, right? Yes, darling. I'll see you tonight. Okay, <laughs> see you then. Did you bring the papers? I want to get it all signed to the date for what is up in the set. There you go. Madeline, can we just relax for a bit? Viv says I should talk to the baby so I can hear my voice as much as possible. See, the baby knows who his father is. You don't know if it's a girl or a boy, yeah? <laughs> Go on then. Talk to the baby. Hello, little one. This is your daddy here. Can you hear me? Oh, did you feel that? Or maybe just kicked. Kicked when I heard your voice. You're beautiful, you know that. <laughs> so completely beautiful. I don't think I've met anyone so beautiful. I don't let Vivian hear you say that. <laughs> don't worry about Viv. She knows she's beautiful. Anyway, she thinks you're beautiful too. Mm. You're giving her a most precious gift. Don't forget, you're giving Lozzy a life-changing gift too. Makes me feel like I'm living my purpose. <laughs> Mum thinks I'm crazy. I'm sure she does. <laughs> Even I thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You know that, don't you? I know. But I want to do it. Oh. You all right? Oh. Yeah. What's the matter? Oh. I think we better get you home. Mm. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Lozzy? Lozzy, honey? Lozzy? We're gonna go. Here you go. Thank this you. will make you feel better. That mural up there, did you do that? Yeah. It's really good. Have you got any more like that? Yeah, loads. <laughs> My friend's got a gallery. You could have an exhibition. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, you've got some real talent. <laughs> That's very kind of you, thanks. <laughs> What's happening? Oh. 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 She'll be fine. She's just a bit distressed. Just fine. 
we're gonna have our own baby our own baby oh my gosh <sighs> she's gonna be okay though isn't she yes she'll be fine she shouldn't be alone though jasper she'll be fine a lot of blood. How about this in Tosin? Oh my gosh. Seven pounds, healthy baby girl. Oh my gosh. I've lost us. <laughs> 